宮村か悪いやつじゃないんだけどちょっと暗いんだよな。Meet Miyamura kun, the masochistic loner slowly learning to cut his strings and be a real boy, and Ishigawa Toru, the popular but prickly classmate he relies on. And this is sarcastically titled IDK I just shipped them for the ships that practically ship themselves. As the title would suggest, this show was supposed to be about the slowly blossoming relationship between best girl Horisan and the adorable but inexplicably hated Miyamura kun. Yet, despite all that, there's a ship that's not so subtly sailing around the main one. Ishikawa is one of the only people the socially awkward, self harming, forever alone Miyamura kun opens up to, quite literally. <laughs> うわ。なんだよこれ。え、本物うん。確かにこれじゃワイシャツの隙間から見えたり透けたりするもんな。つうか、隠すんならしなきゃいいのに。気づいたら掘っちゃうと切ってある。a massive chunk of episode 1 is dedicated to them bonding and blushing, and in an anime this short, that's a lot. Ironically, you first see them interact when Ishikawa realizes they might both like the same girl. But when he confronts Miyamura kun about it, I couldn't immediately tell who he was jealous of. They hadn't really spoken before now, and I didn't expect any BL in the show, to be honest. And I still couldn't tell. Because whenever Ishikawa stared at them from afar, and in this case, up close, it was at Miyamura. And yes, he does like Miyamura kun's face. Eventually, Ishikawa confesses to Hori-san, but she turns him down flat. And no one is more surprised about this than Miyamura himself, who thinks Ishikawa is such a catch and all. そっか。いい人なんだけどな。ああいう人は大抵すっぴん見てうわーとか言うのよ。石川君は言わないよ。いい人じゃん。何？宮村徹が好きなの？じゃああんたが付き合えば。え、石川君モテるじゃん。俺
It just has that effect on guys, I guess. Shindo, the first friend and Miyamoto-kun's only friend in high school, gallops into the show in the fourth OVA. He comes in somewhat creepily, claiming to know everything there is to know about Miyamoto and demanding to be properly introduced. He and Miyamoto have the kind of chemistry where they fight constantly. Okay, fight might be the wrong word. When they first meet, it's because Shindo was the only person to give him the time of day. He's the only one that treated Miyamoto like the fairly normal boy he is, and not with silent, seething contempt. Also a little playful gaslighting to get the ball rolling, as you do. Shindo knows everything there is to know about Miyamoto-kun, supposedly. Meanwhile... <sighs> Speaking of which, when Shindo comes by one day to talk and asks Miyamoto-kun what kind of relationship he actually wants with Ori-san, the titular heroine in case you've already forgot. For some reason when he asked about actually kissing or having sex with her, Miyamoto-kun gave a somewhat surprised and negative response. Dude, what? You'd think he'd at least blush or be all sundere about it and deny it completely, but he seemed shocked it was even brought up at all. Like it wasn't even on his mind and not worth debating. And that's kinda weird. I'm not saying those feelings can't develop somewhere down the line when he opens up completely, but I am saying his switch hasn't really been flipped yet, well, at least not by her. Everything's going fine and dandy until Miyamura and Ishikawa have a small disagreement that quickly ramps up. Ishikawa is hanging out in Miyamoto's room, and he just can't seem to understand why Miyamoto A hasn't cut his hair yet, and B still hasn't made a move on a girl that clearly likes him and for whom he supposedly has feelings for. Miyamoto's in major denial about the whole thing, so Ishikawa tries to convince him that Hori-san must like him, because he does. <laughs> ホリさんは俺のことは友達としか思ってないよ。なんでそう言い切れんだよ。石川君だって。俺は。石川君がびっくりさせるから。この。わからず。なあ、なんでそこまで言われなきゃいけないの。言わなきゃわかんないだろ